Now, you start the team news, first of all, Um, not sure yet, really. Just waiting to see this morning who's uh, who's okay. You know, um, obviously Rafa's not not fit still. You know, he's uh, he's got a hamstring, and people like Sandro, the long-term ones, uh, Stephen Pina are still not not available. Um, but one or two, Nico Cranchar, you know, he, he, he played in midweek for Croatia and came through the game okay, so that was good. And uh, Luca played as well. So, But the others all came back okay from, from international duty. The likes of Van der Vaart, Gallas, King as well, how long yeah. do you expect them to be out for? Well, we're not sure. Williams are now, you know, a couple of weeks probably. But Rafa's coming on well. He's, he's uh, you know... At first, I think we we diagnosed six weeks. That was the uh, the people saw it. But he's been to see someone in Holland who he, he goes to see all the time, and he picks up these injuries. and uh, And the guy apparently has pushed him on weeks, and uh, is is not that you know he, he'll be back much quicker than that. How about your Parker in the squad? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, great to have them here. They you know both both trained yesterday and give us a big lift having them two coming in. You finally have Scott Parker. First of all, how, how long have you been chasing him for in, in your managerial career and where do you rank him amongst the Premier League midfielders? Well, I've always always loved him as a player. You know, I've always thought he was a real good player from his early days at Charlton. And, um, you know, I think he's only really now getting the recognition that he, he deserved. You know, over the last couple of years, people have realised just what a good player he is. Uh, he had a great time at West Ham. So, so we've chased him, and he's now he's right up there with the best best midfield players in the country for sure. He's top top drawer.